All right, good day everyone. Welcome back to My Eyes Deceive. Uh, I played this game like three days ago, and it was probably one of the most fucked up games I think I have played in my life. And uh, I did some research after a comment told me that this game is basically uh, based off of a real, um, you know, case. A crime, if you will. Uh, by this guy named Josef Fritzl. And he was some Austrian dude, and he locked his daughter in his basement that looked exactly like the one in this game, and, um, you know, did things to her. So, you know, there's that little disclaimer at the beginning that says that this isn't based off real events, and in reality it technically is, so, uh, that's kind of fucked, but, oh well, it... We're, we're gonna play the game again and get the bad ending because I played it uh, three days ago and I got the good one because at the very end there's a thing where you're able to select if you're gonna take uh, keep taking the cure quote unquote or if you're gonna stop and we later found out that the cure was sedative pills um, that we were taking every single night and I'm gonna choose in this video to keep taking them and see what happens. Because last time, I clearly got the good ending because I was able to escape, everything went fine, and I later found out that, well, uh, the man was doing some creepy things to me. But, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna do the other ending because I noticed this morning that the video is at 1.4 thousand views, and I've gotten, like, 36 new subscribers from it. I went from like what? 574 last night and we're now up to uh, 618. I don't know how that happened, but thank you a lot. I don't know how the hell that happened at all, but welcome everybody. I don't know why that video did so well, but anyways, we're, we're gonna get right into this. See what this is like. Hopefully uh, the ending isn't bad. You know, something creepy happens. Yes, here's the content warning. I'm just gonna try and speed run through the game, but there will be timestamps in the description. Uh, you know, well, not in the description. Well, yeah, it is in the description, but if you just look at the little timeline on the video, you'll be able to see where uh, the little bits of the video are going on. So, like, typically I have, like, the intro... And then, like, the main part of the game, and then, like, the end slash ramble, that type of thing. So, I'll have the ending at the end, if you just want to see what the hell happens. Uh, but I'm just gonna play through the game and see what happens anyways. Drink some water. Mmm, yes. And at least I know what to do now, so, that's good. There we go. Prepare some food. That is my food. For today. Yeah, that's just... The one thing I didn't really like about the game was just how slow the dialogue moved. You know, it, it's a little bit slow. I feel like they should have made it a bit faster, but oh well. Watch yourself. Yes. It took me forever to figure out what to do last time, so it was like 50 minutes long. So I'm just gonna try and speedrun, you know, because now I know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Okay, wait for father. Yeah, I gotta play on this thing because I'm an iPad kid. Okay, level 1 out of 30. Yeah, I've just got to sit here and do- Can you imagine doing this? And I read in that Josef Fritzl case that he kept his daughter in the basement, I think, from like, either it was- No, it wasn't- I don't think it was birth, but it was like, nine years old or something. I don't really remember. I didn't really read much because I just briefly searched it up. But- But she was stuck. <laughs> in the basement until she was like in her 30s or 40s I think I don't really remember I might be wrong but either way they were stuck in the basement for a long ass time in the real case in this one it's like you're a kid and I think you escape relatively quickly but it is literally based off the real thing um I don't even know I someone told me that in the comments and I was like are you kidding I searched that up and my jaw dropped, and I was like, literally, the room that this guy was keeping his daughter in looks exactly like the one in this game. Like, and they said at the very beginning that it's not based off real events. I mean, it's like, come on. It's, it's kind of scummy, but 
Whatever. Talk with Papa. Oh no. This guy's a creep. Um. Hey man. Hello darling. Uh, you're creepy. Are you here? Yes, Papa. Will you come down today? No. Yeah. There's a lot of the game where you just have to sit here and just kind of fucking read the dialogue. It takes so long. Yeah, you can get infected. Yeah, that was the weird thing is that- So I think that the real case too, um, I think it was kind of like that. I think that this got the real Yosef Fritzl case, um, I think he actually did keep his daughter down here and was able to be successful by doing so by basically doing exactly what's going on in this game where he's telling us to take this pill because it's a cure from a disease and you know there's some shit going on in the real world where you can't leave otherwise you know you're dead it's weird it's really creepy but I'll have to show some pictures just side by side what this looks like um, because there's this room, you know, this dungeon in the game, and then there's the one in real life, which looks exactly like this. I don't think it's, like, perfect. Like, it's not down to every little detail, but it's basically the same thing. But, it's pretty fucked up. Okay, oh, before you go, do you take your pills or something? Oh, I have something for you. Oh, the journal, that's right. Or the diary. So you don't get bored. Nice. How about you give me like an Xbox Series X or something? You know, like something better? Like, oh man. I, f I found out about that whole thing. <laughs> I, I pinned the comment in the last video when I played this. Um, because they were the one that told me about what the fuck was going on. And that this was based off a real event. And, uh, yeah, I searched that up, and just as I said, I was like, uh, that's pretty fucked up. But we've got to write in this journal for quite a bit of time, actually, until we get to the thing at the very end. Yeah, today my papa gave me this. Yes, yes. You'll hear from me tomorrow. It seems like a very scary place. Yeah, so we're getting gaslit and shit. Could you imagine this actually happening in real life? I mean, it did. But, like... I've never played an indie horror game where it's based off, like, completely basically based off a real event. Like, maybe not verbatim, but, like, mostly it's based off a real fucking thing. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's weird. But, yeah, we have a lot of new people that just fucking came into the goddamn community. I don't even know what happened. I was in shock when I woke up because... That video is, I mean, all my videos, like, typically, like, are in the 40 to 50 view range in the morning, typically. Oh, here we are. Um, and it's like, you know, it, it's just, oh, that's right, I forgot about this. But the typical performance is kind of, like, in that range. And then, whoa, we had gone through a period where there was just, like, no new subscribers for, like, I don't know, nearly a month, I think. Well, no, it was, like, a few weeks. And th yeah, it was just kind of like that. There was nothing going on what whatsoever. Um, just out of nowhere. This video is at 1.5 thousand views now, I think. And 34 new subscribers alone. That's just crazy. But here, we're going to go through here. There we go. Okay, day two. Take your pills. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up to know what's happening every time that I take these pills, dude. Uh, yeah. This, this, like, design with the, the plywood and the white, like, um, tile walls, it is literally exactly like the real house. That's what was so fucking, like, creepy about it. Like, I, I feel like the dev of the game should have, like, you know, maybe made it a little bit different. Instead of basically just completely based off the, uh, you know, real Josef Fritzl case. And I found out that there was a Roblox game, a Roblox version of this game that was made, but it got taken down. Probably for obvious reasons, but there was indeed a literal Roblox version. 
and I was like, what? But it got taken down pretty quick. Um, I figured that out after, too. I was doing some research into the game because I was kind of, like, fascinated by how this, like, existed as a game and, like, who the fuck made it and what it's based off of. And I was, like, trying to see how many other people were playing it. And it didn't really seem like very much. But I don't understand why that, like, video got out so much. It just made no sense. Um... Whatever. It's it's nice. Whatever. It's fine. But I think that's like in my top 10 per most well-performing videos now. Because I think my best one is like 5,000 views. And that was Escape the Back Rooms. For all you new boys that don't know. I, I basically started out doing this game called Escape the Back Rooms. It's like a... If you know what the back rooms are. It's like a, a survival game set in the back rooms. And there's like a bunch of different levels. And we did a bunch of different fucking levels in that game. I think every single one, uh, every update, and I did it in VR, and that's kind of what kickstarted everything. Otherwise, I think I would still be somebody posting videos to zero people. <laughs> um, I mean, hey, things are going good right now. Um, yeah, I think we're coming up on a year of doing this in three months. That's just, oh, time flies. It really does. It's crazy. Talk with Papa. Give me an apple, bitch. I want an apple. I'm back. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, I feel like I can't say Arnold Schwarzenegger's name because, like, you know, the last part of his last name was, uh... Oh, even though I had a weird dream. Oh, no. Ah, uh, I'm even now seeing, like, some of that shit is starting to kind of hint at actually what happened at the end. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I feel like I can't say Arnold Schwarzenegger's name because his, his last name, you know, it kind of sounds like the N-word. Um, I'm, I can't wait for that to get clipped out of context in like six years and then I have to make a Logan Paul apology. It's like, I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I do not expect to be <laughs> forgiven or whatever the hell that was. Dude, that was... Wasn't that in 2016 when the whole fucking forest incident happened? That was like seven years ago. Oh my god. Time's moving so quick, bro. Oh my god. Even he's lying about gathering food and supplies like we're in a post-apocalyptic thing. Yeah, and I think last time he talked about uh, there being a monster that chased him. But I feel like, like that's just crazy. But it's probably an effective psychological, uh, like, warfare tactic. Because, like, I could probably technically, like, leave this place if whenever I wanted to. I mean, even though it gets locked. But, um, like, there's no attempt at escaping because, you know, if you're getting lied to for your entire life, basically from birth, that if you leave, it's too dangerous and that you have to stay down here in this dungeon, um, then why would you leave? because you die. It's a dumb idea. But then in reality, we know what happened. There's the, yeah, he's talking about the apple. That apple, I think we get towards the end of the game. Oh yeah, but I did a, a live stream last night. It was about an hour and 16 minutes long. And I played some Fallout New Vegas because that's a fucking goaded game. <laughs> um, it was pretty fun. And then I think I, oh yeah, aren't you tired yet? Dude, even that? Because they're fucking sedative, so of course he's asking if we're tired yet. I think it's kind of nice to replay through this, because we can kind of see what this guy was talking about. And there's like little hints of what the ending is, or what the game's based off, just in that dialogue. He's wanting to know if we're sleepy yet, so we could come down here and, you know, do his thing. Oh my god. Ugh. You know, I, I didn't do enough research into it. Okay, I want to do this option because I didn't do this one last time. So, I'm going to... I'm going to select that one. Today, my papa told me about something called Apple. He said it is very rare because the world outside is a mess. I'm scared of the outside. There are many monsters. Yeah, technically... That's very true. Okay, E to continue. There we go. 
I wonder where this is gonna take me. Go to sleep. Okay. Ugh. It's just kind of disgusting. Whatever. We're gonna be able to see the other little bits of content. I didn't do this last time. What the fuck? What? What is this? This looks similar. Did it? W wait. Hold on a fucking second. Was it like this last time? No, there- this is different. There wasn't these spikes. I think I was walking through a bunch of hallways, but it looked similar to this. Look, there's these spikes and shit. What is this? I wonder what would happen to your body if you're taking sedatives every single night. Especially to a child, like... Would that, like, kill you? I mean, like, apparently the person who was, you know, the victim of the case is still alive to this day, but they're, like, in their 50s, I think. So they're still fine, but, like, does that, have, like, have any health effects? Because, like, when you're young, I don't think you can take, like, things like Advil and shit very often. Because, uh, like, you know, it fucks with your brain or something. Like, what would that be doing? What are the side effects? You know? Well, oh, this is weird. And I remember it being super loud when I was going through the last tunnel. Oh, there's the grapes. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. That's right. That fucking thing, bro. Oh. Take your pills. That actually kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie. That gave me a little goosebumps. But I don't think I screamed. That's good. <laughs> okay. Drink some water. Let's see. Uh, yep, good old tap water. Oh yeah. Hope our tap water isn't laced with like, you know, more sedatives. That'd be bad. Oh, it's under the cabinet. I was stuck here for so long looking. Uh, I was like, why is there no food on the table? Is the game broken? Yeah, you gotta check the cupboard then. There was some old food. God. Yeah. I, it's, this is just... This game's fucked. But it's very interesting. Now that I know some more context about it, I mean... I don't really think I would recommend going to do your own research on it. Unless, you know, you, you got kind of a... Strong stomach or whatever. Or you're into true crime or whatever. Go search this shit up. Because it is interesting. Um, not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever seen anything about it before. So that's kind of... It's kind of cool. Not really, but it's kind of cool like to know what the fuck this shit's based off. Alright. I wish there was like some, you know, cool like game music. Like, you know, back on like the... The fucking Game Boy and shit. Or like some, uh... God, some like... Some like music that's like all pixelated and shit. What was that called? Like, uh... Orbit? Six bit? What, what the fuck was it called? Eight bit? I don't really remember. One of those bits, but it kind of has a, like, you know, old retro game sort of, uh, soundtrack style to it. For a lack of a better word, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you know, it would be kind of nice if there was some music instead of just this, like, zen music while I'm playing this game. Like, what the fuck, man? What is this shit? But I'm at level 19. That's good. I'm almost done. This is really easy. Can you die? No. You can't. There's literally no way to die. Wh this is the worst game I think I've ever played in my life. Oh wait, does- Oh, it resets the timer! Okay. So it doesn't like kill you. It just resets the timer. Alright. Cool. I'm at level 20 now. Yeah, so we're getting through the game then, because I think once you get through all 30 levels, and you get to the end, then it's pretty much towards the end of the game. Because you just have to do this in between each little, I guess, night. Uh, where you just play on this thing, waiting for Father to show up. Like, dude, I'm an iPad kid in this, why can't I at least, like, have some skibbity toilet? Come on, that's what all the iPad kids are glued to now. I really don't understand the skibbity toilet shit. It's just like brain dead dumb shit. 
I remember playing some skibbity toilet shooter game a while back when I was like out of ideas. I was just fucking out of it. And I was just playing stupid games because it was like, you know, why the fuck not? Um, then I played that and it was like, it was the weirdest shit ever, but it was kind of funny because I had no idea what was going on. It was like, what the, why are there a bunch of toilets? Like running around and shit, and they're all screaming skibbity deep bop bop yes yes, like what? And the fact that kids are addicted to that shit, it makes no sense. But at the same time, it's like the shit that, um, was on the internet when I was young, it was like all fucking... God, like, Call of Duty stuff, like, funny moments, like the like that guy, and the Pepe memes and shit. Where's Papa? Where is he? I don't know. Okay, I think this is where I kind of start to decide to rebel, right? And not take the drugs. Are you here? Where are you? I'm scared. Hello? He didn't come today. Sad. Yeah. Right in your diary. Yes. Oh yeah, that's probably because he's getting chased down by the feds. Because we figured out last time at the very end, it said like, uh, on the bulletin board. Which one should I do? I'll just do the left one. I think I did the right one last time. I don't think it really changes anything, but whatever. Um, but there was like a bulletin board. Yeah, same thing. It doesn't really change. Uh, but there was a bulletin board and it was talking about how there was like a, an, uh, investigation going on for his arrest because it seemed, or there was like some suspicious purchases. And then we like looked at a receipt that was on the table upstairs and <laughs> all of the purchases were sedatives. Every single pill inside of those containers are indeed sedatives. Like, what the fuck? Okay, this box, I remember this. Oh. Okay, what is... What is going on? Um... Oh, that's right, it's this bit. Yeah, things just kind of open up while you go through. Let's see. I hope I can get through this quickly, because the last time I did it, I was doing it pretty terribly. I- I- There's some times in these horror games where I just play like a goddamn IGN game review like that terribly, because like I'll just be stuck and not know what to do even though it's like such a basic ass task. You know what I mean? I don't know why, but sometimes the shit just ends up like that. Like see right now. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, this is, this, it's weird. Whatever. I think maybe it's back this way then. If I backtrack. Oh my god, my eyes. No. It's not. But as I said too, in the last video, this game's free to download if you want to play it. And it's relatively long, honestly. I've played, like, hundreds of itch.io games now. Um, well, not hundreds, technically like over a hundred probably, but they're always typically in like the 10 to 20, well, sometimes 30 minute long range, but this is super long. The 40 minute game, I think the last video was like 54 minutes long though. See, here I am. I'm, I'm lost. What did I say? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just tripping balls off the Zaza. I'm lost. Man, what that guy at the gas station gave me? Don't be buying no lean from the gas station. I don't know, that meme, it was like, don't be not buying no weed from the gas station, bruh. This shit. And then, is everybody, does anybody remember that meme? Like, at all? That shit was pretty funny. I don't know why. Bro had like a- his eye- his eyes were like at different levels of his head. From the fucking weed. And it was like a filter, but it was funny. Um, okay. This, this, I remember this. I don't think I have to go up these stairwells, I think I just keep walking. Yeah, there's a corridor in this back left area. Can I walk up these? No. Damn. Oh well. 
Uh, wait. What? I swear to God, it's in the back corner. What the fuck? Maybe it's over here then? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got to jump down. Whee. Oh god, day six. Alright, we're almost out of this. Take your pills. Yes, sir. Gotta take my fucking sedatives. Like, what a waste. Like, could you imagine waking up, taking pills, well, sedatives, every day, just doing the same shit every day, just so you can be a, well, uh, a seg slave to this fucking psychopath. Like, that's just the other depressing part about it. So much about it's fucked up, but it's an interesting game, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was trying to research, like, somebody's gotta make one of those three hour long game documentaries about, like, the similarities between this game and the actual case. Because, like, I would gobble that shit up if it exists. It's interesting. Like, it's- it's one of those, like, weird... ...things that, like, you- it's fucked up, but it's, like, so interesting. Like, all those videos where there'll be, like, uh... Oh, man, what's that guy? I don't remember, there's so many, but the true crime shit... I know there's a few on YouTube, and, uh, they'll, like, be posting shit of, like, school shooters and, like, uh... The, what? Inside of police stations, and they're, like, getting interrogated, like, why did you do what you did? And then they, like, dive into the psychology behind... Yeah, somebody... Uh, oh, JCS criminal psychology or something? I don't really remember, but that shit was so interesting. It's such a weird thing. But it's interesting. How do I get out of this? I honestly don't remember. Okay, backspace. Wait for father. Oh my god, I gotta water the plants. Somebody commented in the last video, they were like, Why didn't you water the plants? And they put a little, uh, like, frowny emoji, and then they are like, Oh, you finally watered them. Because I forgot to water these things, uh, in the start. <laughs> I meant to water them, but... You know, they, they don't deserve this shit, bro. They deserve to be watered. I gotta keep watering these fucks. I think I actually gotta do it, uh, now, because it's like the only thing I can do to pass time. Yeah, I think after this I should be able to go to Father, right? No. Okay. Well, it looks like there's really nothing else I can do. Maybe if I put the thing back. Whee. Bro, I'm just like... Pushing that thing, not even like playing with it. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. I pointed this out last time, too. You can, like, see that the bolts on the wood, they don't move. It's kind of weird, but whatever. As I said, it's just like, it's it's indie game stuff, you know? You can't really expect too much. I mean, you kind of can, but, like, you know. It's, typically, these games are made by, like, one dude. I played a few indie horror games a while back that were made by one guy, and they were, like, super good. There's some really talented guys out there that make these games, and, you know, they're free. It's like, what the hell? How do they charge nothing for these things sometimes, you know? But it is nice. It makes it possible for me to do what I do. Alright. Is he gonna get here? I don't think he will. I think I gotta just keep waiting it out. I'm just doing this. I'm already clean. And somebody suggested to play, uh, Faith the Unholy Trinity, I think it's called. I think, like, oh yeah, where's Papa? Then I get all angry. But somebody suggested me to play that in the, the video that I made on this game initially. So I think I might be playing that soon. Papa? As like a uh, 600 subscriber special, you know? Not today, either. Uh, sad. Write in your diary. I'm mad. Why isn't this creepy rapist coming down into my dungeon again? Guess I'm gonna have to survive off rations, you know? 
All right, here we go. How did I even learn how to write? Okay, this is where... Do I need to take my pills? Oh... No. Yeah, I'm doing it. All right. Let's see what this is. What is this ending going to be like? He's still not coming. It's been four days now. The pills make me tired. If he's not coming, do I even have to take them? I think I should. They are protecting me. Oh, no. Yeah, I wonder why they're making you tired. I really wonder why. God. Okay. Let's see what happens. I think this might be where the ending happens. I don't know. I hope not. Oh. What the f fuck? It's very quiet. Oh. Okay. It's all red. Uh. What the hell? Look at Oh, what's this? What's going on up here? There's no more hatch. Oh my god, it's a loop. What the? I'm kind of glad I came back to this because this ending seems a little bit more like there's shit going on. Unless maybe it'll just cut quick and then nothing cool will happen. But I mean, we're walking. Oh, the chains. Yo, the chains are deep in the lore, you know? Holy shit. Because in the last time when I was like, I had to undo those chains when I was in the ether dimension. I guess it was like to, I don't know. Uh, because I wasn't fucking, you know, taking the drugs anymore. What is going on? Why are these everywhere? I don't know what the fucking chains are supposed to, you know, be. Maybe I'm just in the goddamn back rooms. You never know. Okay. How much longer is this going to go on? Is this just like an infinite loop? Like, what is that? Oh, that chain looked like something. Is this going to be like SCP-087 or whatever the fuck? The infinite stairwell? Okay, it's ending here. The pills. Oh. Okay. I. Trust. Papa. I don't think I do, but I just wanted to see what happened. Okay. Okay. What's gonna happen now, bro? Oh, he brought me food. No trophy yet. Where's the trophy? Oh, there we go. There's food. Is he back? Yeah, pretty obviously he is. I would have to say so. Alright. There we go. Wash yourself. I don't even eat the food. I just cook it and then I go in the shower and then I don't even do anything. Have you noticed that? <laughs> is it just me? It's like, what, do you just like inhale it through the fumes or something? Wait for father. Alright, I'm gonna water the plants again. It's kind of the best way to pass time. You know. There we go. Fill up. Oh boy. You gonna get big and strong there, buddy. Keep growing, little boy. Alright, here we go. These are some really pathetic plants, I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing much going on. Are they gonna sprout? Like, damn, is it a sunflower or is it like a beanstalk? You know? Kinda looks like a microscopic beanstalk. I don't know why. But it does to me. So, that's what it is. And you can't tell me otherwise. You hear me? Alright. I wanna take a shit. What is... Wait a second. What's inside of there? What's... What's at the bottom of that toilet, you know? Why is it white? Oh god. Hey! Papa! Hey, what's going on? Sup, mate? 
Papa? Uh, are you gonna respond? Hey, sweetie. You're back. Yes, princess. I'm back. Wait. What's the password? Apple. It's actually you. Where did you go? I'm sorry. Something urgent came up. I had to leave for a couple days. It won't happen again. Promise? Promise. How have you been... Have you been taking your pills? I've been taking... Or I've been fine. I had to eat some leftovers though. But that wasn't a problem at all. I also took the the pills every day. That's different dialogue because I trust you, Papa. Last time I had to lie. I'm glad to hear. Also, as an apology, I brought you something. It's the apple, right? I swear to God, it's the apple. That is an apple. So that's what it looks like. Try eating it soon. They're best when they're fresh. I'll try it before going to sleep. Already feeling tired. Or already feeling tired? Yes, a bit. That's good. Very good. Head to bed then, honey. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna be tomorrow. I think it's gonna be in like 15 minutes, you fucking creep. This, you know, people like this guy deserve to be firing line executed. Wow, it's so sweet and juicy. Alright, write in your diary. Alright, I think this is the ending. Very soon. I think it's gonna happen. Today, Papa came back. I'm very happy, and he also gave me an apple. I didn't think it would be so tasty. I hope he can bring me some more soon. Yeah, smiley face. That is a big smiley face. How did we even learn how to write? You know? There we go. Go to sleep. My handwriting's so shit. Oh, day 147. Oh, God. Oh my god. Yep, this is the ending. Because I've been tricked to stay down here for all of eternity because I quote unquote trust him. And I'm moving really slow and I think things are a bit more blurry. Ugh. That is my food for today. You know, I feel like you would notice if something's going on every night at this point. I think that's why I'm starting to move more sluggishly. Wash yourself. I'm surprised everything's so clean still. Oh, the flowers are still good. That's nice. Those are the only good things in this game. Those little flowers or plants, beanstalks. Fuck! I messed it up. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's fine. Uh, wait for father. Is this thing reset? I'm just not allowed to play it anymore, okay. It's been like 10 months since I've been able to play on my rerunner game. Why'd this guy give me a tablet but no games other than one? That sucks. Whoa, hold on, what the fuck man, I'm filling up my plant with water. What are you doing? Hold on. Keep growing. Little one. Alright. Hey, dude. Um. What? Why is my belly so round and big? Oh, no. Uh, 
What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no, I should have seen that. Oh, I should have thought about that fucking happening. Oh no. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. I, yeah, I kind of wish I didn't come back to this game. Oh no. Yeah, that ending's pretty fucked. Because apparently in the real case too, um, I think that the victim had like multiple kids because of this creep. It, it's just crazy. But it, this game seems to have been made by a lot of people. I don't know. Maybe not really. I think they just used a lot of different like effects and stuff, but holy shit, dude. Oh, well that's, that's ending two. You know, it's a pretty fucked up game. I see why everybody was saying, like, just how screwed up it is. When I first started playing, I wasn't really sure why it was that way. Like, in the last video, I was like, well, this can't be that bad. And then, like, you know, when you get halfway through the game or you get to the end, you realize, oh fuck, that's why. So, yeah. Wow, okay. Good job, new Hedev. Yeah, that's that's my eyes deceive. Definitely one of the most um just messed up games I've played. There was another one that I called that was or that I played that was called The Static Speaks My Name. And it's also a free game, but it was on Steam. And uh, I think I mentioned it briefly last time. You basically, you know, hang yourself. Uh, after, like, I don't know, some shit with the feds, and you're, like, schizophrenic. It's a dark game. But, yeah, that's, that's the game. I don't want to go rambling for too long. Uh, it was actually a lot of different stuff compared to the first ending in this one. I mean, yeah, the dialogue was all basically the same, other than a few different things, but... Overall, it was still... It was still a good game. Although, albeit dark, um... You know, it's interesting. But I feel like the one good thing I feel like this does is it does kind of help raise awareness that psychopaths exist. And, uh, you know, I didn't know jack shit about the case before I figured out about this game. And somebody told me about it in the comments, so I guess that's the one good thing it can do. Uh, so that shit like this doesn't go, like, you know, unknown. But, yeah. That's, that's the game. Go play it for yourself if you want. It's in the description. I always link games that I'm playing because I want to try and, you know, help people that make these games, you know, grow them because they give me content. So I got to fucking try and help uh, do my part and help them instead of be like Sniper Wolf where I just steal all the content and then just credit nobody. <laughs> but... Oh boy, there we go. I'm digging at Sniper Wolf finally. I haven't uploaded my side channel in three months because I just kind of have not had time for that. But yeah, I've noticed a few people have subscribed over there too. Uh, I don't post there anymore really because I don't have time for those videos because they take a lot longer to make. And I mean, if I did have, you know, a lot of extra spare time, I'd be making videos frequently over there. But my main priority is this channel. Because I, prior, I, I primarily enjoy doing stuff like this. But, hey. Road to 650. We're at 618 right now. That's dope. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, especially that last video. That was insane. How that did so well. But it kind of made me want to see what the other ending was like. I was thinking about playing it again after the video. But I wasn't sure because I was like, you know, I was kind of fucked up. But I wanted to see what the other ending was. And that's it. That's the game. Um, yeah, as I said, hope you enjoyed. Drop a like and subscribe. That way we can get to 1,000 by the end of the year. That would be amazing. Because uh, then I could start, you know, maybe making one cent per video. So that way I can maybe pay off the videos. Because, uh, you know, everything's at a loss. But it's fine. If YouTube started paying, that would be dope. 
but they don't until you hit 1,000. It's weird. Rumble allows you to monetize right off the bat. It just... I don't know. I tried making an account there, but some shit got fucked up, so... It sucks. Uh, but that's it. That's my eyes to see. I'm not gonna ramble any longer. Seriously. That's it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, as I said, have a great day, and see ya.